government is reformed on foreign soil and her fight for liberty continues. Those were French troops manning the Maginot Line, and these shots of the defences on the Western Front were taken before the war. It's believed that the Maginot Line is virtually impregnable, but at the moment it's only in the picture as a mighty reserve bulwark of civilization against Hitlerism. These fortress guns are not in action, for General Gamela, holding the initiative which he seized in the first days of war, has advanced further and further into the so-called no-man's land between the main French and German positions. And now the French look across the Rhine into Germany. These pictures are from the first French army film and show you a sector where the river still marks frontier. At this point, the two armies watch one another at close quarters. The Siegfried Line, here illustrated by a few pre-war shots, has been reinforced since the ravaging of Poland, and the scene in this comparatively recent and hastily built line of defence is one of preparation to meet the constant pressure of Gamelin's tactics. In other sectors, and these again are shots from the official film taken at the front, French tanks have advanced onto territory of the Reich, and French troops, many miles in advance of the Maginot Line, having driven the Germans back, are consolidating their newly won positions on German soil. The enemy's troop movements and defence schemes are under constant observation by French and British airmen, as well as by observation balloons. contact is made with the Siegfried line itself, concrete anti-tank defences like these are in process of being smashed by French guns. Weak spots in the line are continuously subjected to a merciless bombardment by tremendous concentrations of artillery like this. 